thousand pounds. I'll owe you if you win, Mr. Edmund. Four thousand. You'll owe me if you lose. Well, do draw, dear boy. There's no need to talk me to death. Would you care for a drink before I take you home, my dear? It's rather too late for that, isn't it? Yes. I suppose it is. Good night, old chap. Oh, good night, Mr. Redmond. Wouldn't you must be out of your mind. 
I couldn't pull a flipping caper like that. I mean... You know something? I mean, look, he's the actor. Why doesn't he do it? I'd be delighted. But unfortunately for him, he looks like you. Ah, don't give me that, mate. You could make Chief look like him if you wanted to. Chief's in the hospital and you know it. Besides, you look enough like him to be his own brother. At least we hope the Germans think so. His name's Charles Redmond. The playboy? Yeah. You know, he does look a bit like me at that. He's a good-looking bloke. So what's his problem? He's dead. What? He had an accident. Oh, uh, not that I'm worried, but uh, who killed him? British counterintelligence. Uh, uh, Warden, I'm telling you right now, I don't want to hear no more. Redmond was a spy? A traitor. Oh, come on, Warden. I'm not impersonating no bloody traitor. He was selling secrets to the Germans from the war office. I'm not listening. Oh, you better listen. You have an uncle named Sir Peter Redmond. He's a general with the war office. You've been stealing from his safe. Not me. Furthermore, you like hot dice, good wine, and expensive women. Oh, I do. In addition, you are a liar, a cheat, and a man completely without principle. Yeah, that's him. Oh, Warden. I take it the Germans don't know he's dead. That's right. So what's a caper? Our intelligence had fed Redman a set of phony plans. Now, these indicate that we are allegedly planning to move two new divisions into Italy. If the Germans buy it, they'll be forced to regroup the reserves, allowing us to hit them with their weakest. You got it. Where's the contact to be made? Lisbon. That's a neutral city. Yeah, and just as dangerous as Berlin. The Germans run a big espionage ring out of there. So that's where you make your contact, sell the Germans our secrets, and we all come home. Now, now, come on, Warden. Wrong. In the first place, I can't even speak Lisbonese. In the second place, I... Lisbonese? That's Portuguese, stupid. Well, neither did Redmond. But his English was impeccable, and so were his manners. Actor, that's your job. You've got to teach him how to not only sound upper class, but to act it. You've got 36 hours. That's all. Him? You've got to be kidding. Oh, no. No. No, I think no. It's impossible. Well. James, this is Mr. Redmond. Would you bring the motor car around, please? James, this is Mr. James! 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 It's James! Have a cigarette. James, this is Mr. Redman. Now watch. You try it. Now you look like a blind man. Come over here. Do it again. You come here often. Only in the mating season. Shut up and dance! Get on the footlocker and watch. No, this small one. Hank it your elbows off the table. Oh, I feel like a ruddy stuff. What? And sit up straight! Now taste it, and nod your approval. Stop guzzling that wine, just taste it like this. Now try Gunniff. You're supposed to be Charles Redmond, remember? Well, they stop calling me Gunniff. Excellent, my man. Really, quite excellent. Here's to the health. Oh, the aristocracy. I'll drink to that. Time's up. Is he ready? Never be mistaken for aristocracy, but he might pass a quick inspection. Well, that'll have to do. We've got a plane to catch. Come on, Mr. Redmond. We'll take you home. Very good, James. Kindly bring my motor car around. Excuse me.
Robbie, Samson here. Uh, we've lost a pigeon. That's right. Sir Charles Redmond. He owes us 25,000 pounds. Find him and collect it for me, dear boy. Pronto? Yes, thank you very much. Here we go. Ah. With all regards, senor. Very nice. Yes, very nice indeed. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, hello, yes. Room service? Yes, this is Mr. Redmond in room 24. I wonder if you'd be kind enough to send out a bottle of your best champagne. Yes, that year, if you possibly... You're going out, remember? Uh, hello, room service. Yes, cancel the order. I've just decided to go out. Yes, right. I always wanted to try that. All right, now, come on. Get into your monkey suit. Act and get the list. Some of the chicest night spots in Lisbon. I can recommend them personally. Good, good. Yeah, Casino knows where they are. He'll be your chauffeur. Hmm, very good. Uh, what about you two? Aren't you coming along? No, we stay. We're uh, sedate English businessmen. We don't belong in your leg. Oh, pity. Hey, you know something? It's too bad Chief ain't here. This is gonna be fun. Are you kidding? You ever saw him in this outfit? He'd bust his bullet wound and die laughing. All right, here you go. Uh, hold this for me a second, Mr. Now, stay on your toes. They may try and contact you tonight. Are they male or female? Well, that's up to them. Maybe I ought to get along. Just in case. No, no, no. The Germans would spot a tail in a minute. They're not fools. I say, old chap, would you mind helping me dress? This way. Ah, what a waste. All that good music. Beautiful girls for what? For a cloud who can't even not his time.
real pleasure doing people with business who send such pretty messages. <laughs> of an elephant, John. <laughs> have another drink. I'll have another drink. It's almost five o'clock. Do you think something's gone wrong? I don't know. There's nothing we can do about it. Don't you think I should stay with you, sir? Oh, no, no, no. It's past your bedtime. I don't want you to get sick. You just you go home. Eat it and go to help. Come on inside. I'm going to kill him. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill him. That miserable little... All right, all right. What happened? Sir Redmond is having a ball. Little Lammy's nothing but a miser, and I'm not talking about money either. Here, take a look. There you are. Sir, I'm sure you'd rather have some uh, some whiskey, sir, or some wine, sir. Oh, no. Uh, casino, give him the coffee. Well, all right, sir, but I think it's a terrible mistake. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Three hours and then what? And you start all over again. Uh, oh, Warden, didn't I get picked up last night? Oh, sure, like, just like any other ordinary tourist. So tonight you start again. Oh, isn't that wonderful, sir? You can start out again with all that free booze tonight, sir. And all of those beautiful, gorgeous women that you can have all to yourself alone, sir. Just like last night and not share them with anybody at all, sir. Oh, that's wonderful, you miserable little limey. How do you like playing the playboy now, huh? Oh, Wood. I'd much rather get some sleep. Must I? Right. Casino's bringing the car around now. Hey, Let's go. <laughs> this rate is liable to be an alcoholic before they decide to pick him up. <laughs> last night, whatever that was. I say, you're not James. Somebody 
put the slug on me. That's it. They made contact. Mr. Edmonds. Now that you've seen we mean business, we can talk. Just one question. Do you have it? Yes, I have it. Why, why so rough? For 25,000 pounds, we can get a lot rougher, I assure you. 25,000 pounds? What? I'm in no mood for games, Mr. Edmund. Let me make myself clear. I make a living collecting gambling debts. You owe the syndicate 25,000 pounds. Then I want it. Syndicate? Now, now what, what syndicate? If you don't have it, Mr. Redman, you're going to be just another piece of garbage floating in Lisbon Harbor. You know, you should really know better than to try and run out on us. So who's Nobody running? Welsh's friend. Now I'm going to ask you once more. Do you have it no yeah but, but i can get it i got a deal cooking that's why i came to lisbon he's lying no it's true but it'll take some time how long Twenty-four hours. Very well. I'll give you to the morning. Daylight. And remember, if you try to run, wherever you run, we'll find you. I'm sure you understand that now. All right, mister. Take him back to his hotel. Tommy. Follow them. You and Mester stay on top of him. Someday I'm gonna find that lousy kraut. He'll get his. Hold it. Here he's coming. What? Hey, what happened? I tell you what happened. I just quit. Hey, man, the crowds do that? No, but it don't make no difference. I still quit. Uh, this is one ruddy cable you can keep, Warden. And don't tell me not to say ruddy. All right, now, Garnet, now, just settle down. Tell me exactly what happened. I got slugged. That's what happened. Almost killed. And why? Didn't even meet your lousy Jerry's yet. Well, then who did it? Gangsters Casino. Never heard of them? Gangsters? Yeah, gangsters. A syndicate. Hey, Warden, you should have checked up on this playboy of yours. He's in a whole pile of trouble like gambling debts up to here. What are you talking about? He's dead. Yeah? Dead? Well, me too, unless I get out of here. They give me till the morning to raise 25,000 pounds. 25,000 pounds? Yeah, right. You heard. 25,000. If I don't get it, they toss me the drink with the rest of the fishes. Blimey, I don't plan to stay around that long. Oh, what a mess. Hey, baby, you just noticed that? Hey, all right, all right, now. How many of them were there? Three. One of them's down there waiting for me, and the other two are over in the... Hey, wait. It's okay. I'll be Who is it? El boy, senor. Ah, that's just what I needed. Yeah, thank you. Hey, that's good booze. You order that? Who needs to order? One look at my face. He knew. Yeah, they also knew that you drink only five-star cognac, too, right? What does it say? Ten o'clock tomorrow morning, 36 Rue of Valentina. Now let's look at the map. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah, it is. Donald, come here. This is where you're supposed to keep your contact with the German intelligence. Oh, Warden, come on. You must be out of your mind. I take one step out of this hotel in the morning without that money, I'm a dead duck. Don't worry about it. Oh, fine. Don't worry, he says. Don't worry. Well, listen, we're here to protect you, aren't we? Oh, really? When are you going to start? Now, look, Garner, if you're the only one that can do it. You're it, baby. Oh, yeah? Well, what about that bloke downstairs, huh? We'll take care of him. Yeah. No. I'll take care of him. Okay. You know something? I think I'm out of my blinking mind. Now. If I did do it. Only if I did do it. Show me what I'd do. All right, here. I'll lay it out for you. This envelope contains all the information we want to plan on the Germans, except two things. The exact date of the landing and where it's taking place. This envelope has the two missing items. One's no good without the other. You got it? No, Warden. You're making it too complicated in the first place. I've never... We've got to play the way Redmond would. He'd want to see the color of their money before giving them the whole package. All right. So, I give him this one first? Yeah, right. And this one I'll put in lost and found in the railroad station tomorrow morning. It'll be in your name. You tell the Germans you exchange this envelope there, but for the agreed purchase price. Why a railroad station? Because it's a public place. The Germans wouldn't try anything over there. All right, now you need one more envelope to put in a hotel safe tomorrow morning. Oh, now, just a minute, Warden. He just got through telling Never me... Never mind, Garner. No, you've got enough to remember. I'll explain it later. Yeah, let Acta take care of that face. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll sleep on it. Maybe. Oh, and, uh, James, breakfast in the morning at eight o'clock sharp, if you please. What'll it be? Kippers and a cup of tea, stupid. Of course, sir. Did you put this in the hotel safe for me? No, but of course. Mr. Red. I'll, uh, pick it up later. No. Just give me a hand. He's going to wake up sooner or later. That's right. And when he does, he's going to remember that Redmond here has got to go back after that package. Oh, I get it. While the syndicate is watching the hotel, we're at the railroad station. You got it. All right, take off. recognize you, Mr. Redmond. Your face. Now, what about it? It appears you have been in some trouble. Look, I said I was in a hurry. Oh. Why? I ran into some gambling friends. They're pressing me for some old debts. Oh, yeah. The syndicate, no doubt. Oh, it's foolish to try to cross them. They're a very dangerous people. 
But then if you didn't gamble so heavily, you wouldn't want us, would you? And we'd have no use for you. <laughs> and we like you, Mr. Redmond. We like you very much. Rest assured, it's mutual. Of course. Now, you have something for me, hmm? Just relax, Mr. Redmond, while I see uh, what it is we're buying. I said I was in a hurry. These plans are accurate. We we'll have to move our reserves. They are completely accurate. I trust they are, for your sake. Interesting. There is not the slightest information about where the blow is to come or the date. Two very essential items, Mr. Red man without which all this is useless, is it not? There is one more package. Ah, I thought there might be. <laughs> uh, so, now we begin to play a little game. Eh? What a shame it is we cannot trust one another. Where is the other package? In a safe place where only I can get it. What is it you propose? We make the exchange in a public place. You give me the money, I give you the package. Why a public place? I have a feeling it might be safer. Mr. Redman, this is a great deal of money. You will get it when you come back. Here. Here? Look, I said I was in a hurry. I don't have time to come back. <laughs> Mr. Fenton, please. Do you seriously believe that I would look at secret Allied plans in a public place? Come, Mr. Edmund, have some common sense. Besides, there's nothing else that you can do. You have no choice. Hey, Rector. Yeah. Gain the meeting. Herr Brown also. Herr Rick and Herr Brown will go with you. One moment, Mr. Redman. Herr Rick uh, does not uh, play games with people that we have to deal with. Oh, it's sad, but I wouldn't try to cross him if I were you. Maybe they didn't buy it. Quiet. Drink your coffee. Just for kicks. Suppose they have decided he ain't Redmond. Well, that's it then, isn't it? Yeah. As far as you're concerned, he's expendable. Casino, we are all expendable. There he is now. Told you he'd show up here. Shall we get him? No. We'll wait. He said he had a deal cooking. Let's see if he comes up with some money. Won't we lose him in there? Mister won't lose him. He's got a personal debt to pay. Pack 
package for Mr. Charles Redmond? Si, senor. Thank you. Obrigado. He picked up something. Let's get him. Kong game is over. They are taking back with them. More trouble. The syndicate boys are after Ganov again. All right, let's follow them. Come on. That chopper, he can pin us down all day. Jerry's got away. Right. Well, it's bound to be real easy from now on. The only thing we got to worry about is the whole German intelligence. What's he doing in there? Packing. Again? Place to be ready. In case the warden changes his mind. All right, that'll be the day. All right. There. I am ready. Where are you going? Home. Don't try to stop me. I've had it up to here. Got it. Sit down. Oh, come on, warden. Don't try and con me. I wouldn't go back to that jerry nest if the war depended on it. I said sit down. Look, no, warden. I have been putting two and two together, and I have come up with something that is not for. Now, this Redmond fella, he was figuring on getting out, right? So he skipped England. So Jerry's got a figure he's no more used to them, okay? So? Ah, oh, right. So, now, they got a figure that he might rat on them, like a double agent, okay? This means they might kill him, don't it? That's right. I imagine they probably would try to. Uh, no, they won't, because I won't be here. I am not that stupid. I, I'm not that stupid either. You think I'm going to let you get killed? Now, I've got it worked out. This is what you got to do. Pay attention.
Parsons here. Mr. Redman, you must explain about Mr. Brown. It was the gangsters from the syndicate. Those men, I told you about them. Your friend, he pulled a gun. And one of them shot him. Uh, Richter, that, that fellow, Richter. He, now, he'll back me up. Uh, I've heard your story. So, you brought the paper back here. That's right. Nein, <clears throat> Carl. That's right. You see, you can trust me. There's nothing more trustworthy than greed. You sure the men that attacked you were from the syndicate? Yes. Oh, because if they weren't, if they were British intelligence agents, uh, you see what I'm driving at. Well, they were those men. You have the package here? Yes. Sit down, Mr. Redmond. I would Take prefer for you to give me the money to let me get out of here. Oh, I'm sure you would. <laughs> Sit down. Not there. Back there. This is a very valuable piece of information, Mr. Redmond. Hmm. It distresses me we won't be able to use you again. I fail to see why. There's too much risk. The British are on to you, I'm afraid. And if you were to tell the British you'd given away their pretty little operation in an effort to protect yourself against them... Oh, I, I wouldn't do such a thing. We'll see to the, that you won't. Carl. Stay on your belly. Hey, you. Get your hands up. It's them! I told you to get me out of here! Who, who are you? Shut your mouth, pups. All right, Redmond, where is it? He's got it. Just a minute, listen. All right, come on, let's have it. Fork it over. Come on. It's the money they're after. He, he has it. It's in, his, it's in his inside pocket. I saw it. He, he owes it me like I said. Give it to him. That's all he wants. You... Ah, uh, from the syndicate? Let me put it this way, Pumps. If you got that bundle in your pocket and don't fork it over, you will have already celebrated your last birthday. Hold it. All right. Stuff him in the car. No, 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 wait a minute. You, 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 you got what you wanted. We want you too, punk. You knocked over three of my best boys. You're gonna kill me. Let's go, baby. No, no, please. G give me one chance, please. Come on. No, oh, oh, punk. Go. He's dead. Yeah. I will stuff him in the trunk. We'll dump him in the river. What about these guys? Yeah, we can't afford to leave no witnesses. Line them up over there. Hey, get All up. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Before you do anything foolish, shut up. we are German. I'm telling you to shut up. Hey, wait a minute, Max. Let him talk. We have no, no need to inform on you. We wanted him dead, too. So we did you a great big favor, huh? Get rid of the body and we consider the money we have spent, but... If you kill us, you bring on war. We have no need. But look around you. I don't think you, your syndicate, want to fight us. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Max, you know what kind of a place this is? Who cares? You're a dumb jerk. What I know. You got some, uh... Secrets you want to keep, too, don't you, Pops? Yeah. All right, I'll make a deal with you. You keep your mouth shut, I forgot I ever saw this place. Agreed. Agreed. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Remember, you keep your mouth shut or I come back here and blow the lid off this whole operation. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't kill me. Oh, boy, what a ham. 
Actually, I thought I did rather well. And I uh, didn't exactly come out empty-handed either. Yeah. That looks like a couple of thousand quid to me. Yeah. Hey, where'd you get that loot? Never mind, I got it, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. Smell. I know what it smells like. Where'd you get it? Oh, I got it, hand it over. Ah, come on, warden. Fair is fair after all I went through. All right. That's more like it. Well, all right, then. Come on, divvy up. Give me my share. Fine. What did you do? Six. I saved your life, you crumb. Now, come on. Okay. One, two, what are you doing? three. I'm counting. Four, five. No, six. come on. You're not worth much, but you're worth more than that. Now, give me my share. What do you mean? It's times like you that cause inflation. More. What Will you give me what you want me to do? Now, get off. You're giving me a headache. Hey, you mean you're going to let them keep it? Sure, why not? A little souvenir of their visit to Portugal. Right, now hurry up, will you? But I wouldn't try to spend any if I were you. Scotland Yard might not like it. It's counterfeit. <laughs> you are saying what to me? You are saying this is counterfeit? What? You better what, what? This is real money, isn't it? Real. It's real money. Yeah, real money. Sure, yeah. Wouldn't I believe you. Garrison and his gorillas will be back at the same time next Tuesday night time, dealing with some friendly enemies.